We are providing coaching and provide PTE latest material. For more information visit our website, WPTE Center. We are also available on other social media apps like Telegram. If you want more updates related to PTE then join our Telegram channel and also follow on Instagram so that you can get more and more PTE updates. By 1850, there were one million people living in Paris. The population overflowed into the streets. Movement on the street was at a standstill and trade was impossible. The nephew of Napoleon Bonaparte, Napoleon III, came up with a dramatic plan to rebuild Paris by widening streets, improving traffic flow, and clearing the slums. Houseman decided to buy up the land and move the slums and their inhabitants to the outskirts of the city. Now he could focus on the transportation problem. By easing traffic conditions, he felt he was organizing Paris and opening it up to an economic boost. Since the slums had been torn down, he had room to construct condominiums in their stead. He was very interested in giving Paris a modern look. Every apartment building was constructed to houseman standards. In 2018, scientists planned to create a second sun. Inside this tokamak reactor, two varieties of hydrogen will be mixed together. The gaseous mixture will be confined by strong magnetic fields and brought to a temperature ten times hotter than the sun. At this temperature, the nuclei of the hydrogen atoms are able to fuse and liberate considerable amounts of energy. The reaction will send out an explosive burst of particles similar to a solar flare. Although a lot of power will be required to kickstart the reactor, around 10 times as much energy could emerge. The project could provide us with an almost limitless supply of safe and green energy. Fusion power just got one step closer to becoming reality at this giant laser facility. The idea is to supercharge laser beams through a massive chain of glass amplifiers. The pulses will then be directed towards a gold cylinder the size of a pencil eraser. 
a fuel pellet made up of two hydrogen isotopes necessary for fusion will be inside the chamber. As the laser pulses converge on the pellet, the cylinder will heat up to around 3.3 million degrees Celsius. This will cause an intense burst of X-rays that implodes the pellet and forces the hydrogen atoms together. The resulting nuclear fusion reaction would create more energy than the laser pulses delivered. Although a fusion fuel target hasn't been ignited yet, researchers have figured out how to focus the lasers on such a target. Scientists hope to attempt fusion ignition by the end of the year. When this dog approaches some food, another dog's playful snarls are played back. The dog seems curious, but the sound doesn't stop it from taking the bone. Here, a dog hears the growls of a dog being approached by a stranger. But these don't deter it from grabbing the bone either. In another scenario, the sound of a dog protecting its food is played back. This time, the dog backs off. These experiments suggest that dogs can distinguish between different types of growls. This is the first ocean deployment of two new high-precision instruments designed to monitor the Earth's signals from the seafloor. This housing contains the tilt meter and nanobottom pressure recorder and the associated electronics and cabling used for power and communications. The instruments were deployed on the seafloor by a remotely operated vehicle as part of the Mars Seafloor Observatory testbed located at a depth of 3,000 feet in Monterey Bay. In this first test deployment in the ocean, they have already detected the ground motion from several large earthquakes, as far from the Mars site as Chile and the Mariana Trench. In the future, the instruments will be part of a global network of cabled seafloor observatories. Because of their precision, these two new instruments are already detecting signals which could never be measured before.
Before we discuss political systems, however, it's helpful to address the confusion that has been spread about the political spectrum. Many have been led to believe that the political spectrum places groups such as communists on the far left, fascists or dictators on the far right, and political moderates or centrists in the middle. However, a more accurate political spectrum will show government having zero power on the far right to having 100% power on the far left. At the extreme right, there is no government. The extreme left features total government under such labels as communism, socialism, Nazism, fascism, princes, potentates, dictators, kings, any form of total government. Those who claim that Nazis and fascists are right-wing never define their terms. This amounts to spreading confusion. Toward the middle of the political spectrum can be found the type of government limited to its proper role of protecting the rights of the people. That's where the Constitution of the United States is. Those who advocate such a form of government are really constitutional moderates. So let's analyze the basic forms of government. They are monarchy or dictatorship ruled by one, oligarchy ruled by a few, democracy ruled by a majority, republic ruled by law, and anarchy, which is ruled by no one. In discussing these five, we'll see that they can be narrowed down to even fewer.